This is my hour. Hi there, and welcome to yet another great episode of Mind Power. My name is Bryce L. Tomlinson, and today I'm going to show you how to clean out one of your oldest computer gadgets. It's an old rollerball mouse. Almost all the mice that you see today are some kind of an optical mouse that has a laser light and sensor at the bottom of it, like this one does. But the one that we're going to show you how to clean out today it's especially helpful for those who still have an older system or who are just using uh, repurposing older computer parts. This is an old rollerball mouse. This one happens to be a PS2 mouse. Um, I do have an adapter to plug it into USB. These mice, they end up having like a clunk, 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 clunk type of feeling to them and as they move they get really really stuttery in their feeling they can last for years and years if you clean them properly just pay attention to this bottom little wheel this little hatch uh, usually has an arrow or arrows pointing which direction you need to turn it to uh, open it up some of them have a little notch in them and you can use like a, a pen or something pokey to stick in there and turn it so that it'll open up and essentially, once you get it turned right, you should be able to just turn it upside down and this whole thing will come out. And you can see that this ball is really, really, really dirty. A ball like this is already, you know, picked up a lot of grease and a lot of lint off your desk and stuff. And this thing is basically going to cake it onto the rollers that are inside here. So you can uh, get a look inside there. You can sort of see it there on the black roller. The inside of this also, if you look inside that little cup in there, you can see that that is really kind of dirty too. And even the little hatch that we have here, this gets really dirty uh, on the inside. So I'm going to show you how to clean all this stuff. This is the most complicated one to clean out, but um, it's not too difficult. Most people have the stuff laying around their house to clean all this up. Um, in this case, uh, you can use electronics cleaner. I don't really use it that much uh, for this project, but you can use it. It, does, it probably will help uh, clean off some of the dirt and stuff. Uh, what I'm gonna use it the most is rubbing alcohol. So what I like to do is take a little cap and uh, fill it up with some rubbing alcohol here. And the first thing I do is I take my little mouse ball and I roll it around in the alcohol. And uh, you probably want to rinse out the cap when you're done with this because all kinds of stuff is going to come off of here. Um, or you can use a little saucer or something to put your uh, to put your alcohol in so you can roll your uh, greasy, dirty little mouse around in it. And then uh, once you get that, once you get that going on and you get that uh, where you got it really, you know, saturated, you can see most of the dirt's already come off of it. But you can use a microfiber cloth to uh, clean that off. You can find these microfiber cloths in just about any uh, department store or grocery store. In the automotive section, they usually have them now, so you can, you know, use them to clean off your dashboard and stuff. Uh, basically, it's a great way to pick up dust and lint and stuff. And you can see that this ball is infinitely cleaner than it was. So already, we're one step ahead of the game. Uh, Q-tip will clean out most of the stuff. I use that to uh, clean out the bunk and dirt out of the inside of the little hatch here. All that grease and crusty stuff that you leave uh, in these crevices and stuff that's just going to get picked up again by that ball and redistributed throughout the roller assembly. These roller ball mice, they have a lot of moving parts, so there's lots of places for dirt and funk to get trapped in. I think this little hatch is now pretty clean here. You can clean off the bottom of it too because that's just gonna get dirty again. Just kinda get the grease and stuff off of there. Now for the big task. Inside here, it's really, really funky. So I'm gonna use this one, it's already soaked and it's got some funk on it from the hatch and I'm gonna clean out that little cup in the bottom of it. It sits on top of the mouse, so gravity dictates that some of that funky stuff is gonna fall back on the mouse ball. Look at all that gross stuff, that is disgusting. All of that stuff came out of the little cup and the, and the hatch and stuff. Now we've got the rollers inside here and you can kind of try to get at it with the Q-tips, but usually this stuff is really caked on and crusty. Uh, you might be able to get at it with uh, some rubbing alcohol with a Q-tip. You see some of it starting to come off. 
little lines of it there. This is the worst, grossest part. So you might want to take something like this here toothpick, which uh, in my opinion, this is probably just a little too flexible. It doesn't seem to be really making a difference. You can see a little bit, tiny bit came off on there. Now mind you, you don't ever want to use a metal utensil for this because if you use a metal utensil, you're just going to like scrape the surface of the roller and it will cause flat spots in there. Eventually your ball will not roll even if it's clean, it won't roll straight. Essentially I'm going to use the flat side of this plastic butter knife. As I'm doing that, it's a little black roller in here and I try to use like an upward, outward motion to try to move the roller as I'm sort of scraping along it. You can see little bits of stuff are coming off on there. You might be able to use the edge of your fingernail to scrape some of those bits off. It gets really, really funky in there sometimes. That's the worst of it. If you want to finish it off, you can uh, of course spray it out with some canned air. Love to use canned air. It'll spray it out. So it should be rolling pretty smooth. Make sure you stick everything back together the way it was. Make sure everything is dry. And just turn it the opposite direction to close it up. Now the ball should roll as smooth as silk. Thanks for watching this. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Last week, you know, I did the uh, optical mouse and the week before that I did the trackball mouse. If you want to watch those videos, click on these links right up here around my head. Uh, hope you enjoy this and we'll see you next week. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can help me out by clicking those like and favorite buttons down below. And if you enjoy seeing tech tutorials, reviews, and more, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I hope you do. Also, if you have any questions or ideas to contribute, make sure you tell me about it in the comments below. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time on MindPower.